All right, guys, so I got a little more juice on the GoPro. Um, unfortunately, my last video did not turn out as well as I would like, would have liked it to. Um, so, <laughs> the funny thing is, so I made one video, noticed the GoPro was going to die, so I kind of quickly made it. I went in to start editing it, so I had something to put out today and noticed the camera angles were pretty jacked up so I came out to kind of get some shots for that video and I just took two photos instead of recording so off to a really rough start but let's get into it um, I do have some video footage of taking this off but I'll kind of place it up in the corner and let you guys see some parts that help but I think looking at the engine, we can uh, kind of dive into exactly what I did. So I know this is going to be a lot easier for me, guys, because the engine's out of the car. Um, <clears throat> for you guys who, you know, still have the engine in the car, which is going to be most of you, um, this won't be as easy because you're going to have an intake, you're going to have a bunch of shit over here. Like, you don't have a whole lot. Like, I don't think I could fit my arm really through here when this engine's in the car. So, um, to be completely honest though, these engines are really easy to take out. There's a couple plugs up front for the engine harness, a couple bolts. I mean, it's really two bolts for the engine mounts and you can take off um, the transmission from the block or you can just bring out the entire transmission. It's completely up to you. Um, I think if I were to ever really work on a Miata motor, again, I would just take the engine out of the car. It's a lot easier. Um, so let's go ahead and dive in so starting today um, uh, the whole plan is to strip this down clean it up build it up for what reason i'm not really sure it's kind of just more for practice and to get used to motors and doing the work um, i already did the valve cover gasket on this but i think i'm gonna have to do it again because i'm gonna lift the head off and uh, maybe do some ARP studs and a new head gasket just you know just as maintenance if I go to sell it at least it's done and the guy gets a really solid motor um, but let's get into what I've done already so I came in we took the heat shield which I do not have video footage of off the exhaust manifold so the exhaust manifold sits on the engine and it blocks your bolts from uh, being easily accessed so you take this off you can see on the side you have one two three nuts that are right here all right and then you have one two three four five six bolts one two three four five and six I'm missing a couple but whatever um, so you take that off then you go ahead and you remove the exhaust manifold so <clears throat> this bad boy i i love milwaukee's uh m12 lineup of tools i've had dewalt tools my whole life and i've slowly started picking up those kind of tools because they are small and powerful so you have nine nuts over here one two three four five six seven eight nine i had one bolt come out with the nut because I used my impact, I didn't use liquid wrench or anything, I just came out with it. So it is what it is. Um, it's not a big deal. We'll just thread a new one in and call it a day. You have a couple brackets on the motor. So I forgot one thing. When you take off that exhaust manifold, there is actually this bolt right here that attaches. It's welded on to the exhaust manifold. I don't know if it's stock, it seems stock. This pipe wraps around into your intake manifold, bolts, bolts on over here. But I mean, it's just weird. I've never seen it before. Um, I took uh, these pliers down here, got on there and I just ripped it off like a man. By the power of Ray Skull. It was on there a little, like kind of tight, not too bad. Once I broke it, I just spun it off and I was able to pull it off. 
it's, I want to say like a 22, 23 maybe. I put a 21 uh, millimeter socket on the end and I couldn't get it over it. So it's bigger than 21. So I'd say pliers, they worked well for me. So now back to uh, what I was talking about. This 12 millimeter goes on the side, <clears throat> just like this. And the four 14 millimeter bolts go on the side of the block. Um, this long bolt is gonna go to this bracket up here along with these two 14 millimeter bolts. There's a third one down here that I think I need to take this off to access. So that's why that's still on there. And obviously the exhaust bolts are right here. We took off the, uh, the engine mounts actually sit up here. We already took that off. It comes with four bolts. For some reason, Someone really messed with this already because, <clears throat> excuse me, someone already messed with this because on my driver's side I have two long bolts, two small bolts, oh shit, um, that put the bracket in the side for the motor mounts, and then on the passenger side I had three of these smaller bolts and only one long bolt. So if you guys know um, what the proper, I guess, the proper configuration of these bolts to go back into the block, that would be helpful. Um, but that's where we're at right now. Coming up in the next video, I'm gonna let the GoPro charge for a little bit, maybe we get back to this tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and take off this manifold. Um, we have the fuel rail up here too, we're gonna take off with the injectors. So, and then we have our alternator over here. So our driver's side will be completely clear. Our passenger side will be very clear. Then we'll go ahead and get ready to start stripping the front of the motor. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. If you guys have any questions or anything you wanna see during this process, feel free to leave a comment down below. Um, I don't get very many comments right now, so I read all of them and I will reply to all of them. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching.